Hey everybody, welcome to part 7 of Speedy Art with Pran, or I guess episode 7. Uh, today, I decided to draw Marie from Splatoon. I did a poll on Twitter asking what I should do, should it be a tar tarot card, uh, more Bran Flake stuff, and I got overwhelmingly fan art. Uh, the only person that told me uh, what they'd like to see of fan art, however, was like, draw pretty ladies so that's what we're doing today you will see I uh, started at sketching this time instead of lining like I usually do for these uh, and you also notice I'm fucking talking Brandon what the hell is up with that well Nintendo's been really picky about music and shit lately and I figured I'd try something different and fucking you know talk like most people do for their speed paints nowadays you know, I had to fix the head. I was not liking the way it was connecting to the neck. Um, so what else can I say about this? Um, I'm gonna have to go in and do multiple uh, voice recordings, aren't I? Probably, in order to make this not as awkward. This is an interesting part. I went and I uh, was using the vector line art tools in Clip Studio Paint. You know, and just need to get used to them and all that shit. I couldn't do it. I get 15 minutes in of working with it, trying to make it look nice. And it was just driving me nuts. It was like midnight at this point. Somewhere around there. And I said, you know what? Forget this. And I moved back over to Krita to finish the line art. Any second now. Come on. It's when I start messing with the nose again in a minute. See, that was me giving up on making the line consistency work. And I said, screw it. And I moved over to Edith. That's how I am sometimes. I'm not a very patient person. You might think I am, given uh, how long it takes me to do art and stuff like that but no I have zero patience uh, and just I'm so used to the workflow in Krita now that I have to use it sometimes uh, you'll notice as I go around and do the art uh, line art I will add the thickness in by hand that's something that I don't necessarily really have to do or it's not as hard to do in CSP but I, t I don't know man I'm as I said, I'm not used to the new stuff, and it's very awkward. You can't directly erase, right? Without screwing with shit. I don't know. Maybe I should get used to masking layers. Uh, speaking of masking, here we go with uh, filling in the colors and doing the shadows. This is my favorite part, actually. Uh, I think it's really fun to um, do all the coloring and shit. Because you don't have to think about it as hard anymore at that point. Because they've already done all the hard stuff with the shape and form. Here I tried to use automatic stuff uh, with a Gaussian blur. Um, but eventually you'll see I go back and I paint it the way I did with the highlights here. Using a uh, paintbrush that I'm pretty fond of in Krita. I said, you know, that looks nice. So I went and I did it for the um, shadows as well as the highlights. And I do it for the rim lighting as well here in a moment. Or the backlighting, whichever you prefer. I usually label the layer as backlighting, so. Speaking of this, uh, PSD will be available on Patreon at the dollar tier. Why? I don't know, because I needed more things to be available for Patreon supporters. Um, and of course, here I go doing the background painting. I love doing these. Um, if anything was my second favorite part of the process, it's definitely painting the backgrounds. Especially now that I've got new brushes, and you'll see I've switched over back to Clip Studio. To mess with things for the clouds. And that's a brush that I've got on Clip Studio. 
the clouds and the sea foam. Uh, I used a special brush for something in the sand. I think it was all the grains of sand. Uh, and, you know, using multiply layers and stuff to make colors look nice. It's a bit of a process. Uh, you'll notice a few times where it flashes down to a small size and then goes back. That's when I wasn't used to my uh, tablet's reaction to things. Um, and I accidentally grabbed the top of the screen and moved it. Or the top of the window, rather. So, that was dumb. That was all me, though. And there's the signature getting added, slapped in there. Now I go to do an effect on her dress, like what she's got in the games and on the plush and all that. And yeah, it took about two hours. That is counting the weird line art. But, you know, I think it turned out nice. Just want you to appreciate it. Look at it and like it. Eh. Anyway, thanks again to my one Patreon supporter on screen. I name him, but that's supposed to be like for another tier. He's getting a little bit of special treatment, given he's the only one right now. Uh, if you'd like to watch more videos, uh, watch them. Bladed video, uh, playlist, and subscribe, like the video if you like it. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the future. Maybe. Hopefully. Please. Adios.